Welcome to Joplin, Missouri. It's an unwelcome location for Missouri Western football. The Griffins have had traditional struggles here against Missouri Southern, but not today. Scoring starts midway through the first quarter. Quarterback Scott or Windmiller just faked out everyone in the stadium. Everyone. Then he hits a wide open Terry Jackson. He was not fooled. That's a 34-yard touchdown hookup. Western on the board and far from finished. Second quarter, they go to the ground. Running back Josh Caldwell. Wait for the blocking here. Check out P.J. Bolton, the wide receiver, clear in the path. So the saying receivers can't block, is that true? Oh, it's definitely not true. Because nope. they're blocking this year, ain't that right? 43 of Caldwell's team high, 92 rushing yards came right there. Griffins go up 21 to three. Now this defense was kind of a question mark entering 2016, but it's been kind of phenomenal through the first two games. Turnovers would give Southern some short fields. They had some shots. Lions had first and goal from inside the seven, three different times in the first half, but they only came away with six points. It would have been nine, but Darian Bass just blocked the field goal party before halftime. He's got the mark to prove the block. That would lead to this. Griffs get the ball with under a minute to play in the half and go for the knockout. Windmiller to the air. Brock Broughton, consider that the knockout. A 55-yard scoring strike. Western would go to the break with a 28-6 lead. All day. Third quarter, they're threatening again. Windmiller can't find a receiver this time, so he'll just take it himself. His line, 49 yards rushing, two touchdowns on the ground. Through the air, he was 15 of 18 for 229 yards and two more scores. Western, as a team, rushed for 262 yards Saturday. They also held Southern to just 30 rushing yards Saturday, and that equals a 51-14 win. It's the Griffins' largest margin of victory in Joplin ever. They're 2-0 now, and they have outscored their first two opponents a combined 95-36 to through two games. Oh, by the way, the first string defense has allowed just one touchdown. Fireworks to follow. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a war zone. <laughs> well, I like the fire that we came out with. We started off hot, and uh, we just got the ball rolling, and we never slowed down after that. And we did a great job of just rushing the ball, making plays. Offensively, there were some big drivers, big moments. Uh, I think you saw we have some weapons. We got to catch the ball and do some things. And I think the biggest thing is that receiving group. You know, we, they were a big question mark offensively because we, we knew what we could do with the offensive linemen and the guys behind me, but they've came out these first two weeks and they have actually absolutely turned it on and they've done great. Our conference is going, it's getting better every week. You know, we, we're finding out who we are, how we can play. You know, we're very, very aggressive on defense and then our offense is very explosive. They, they have different threats here and there. And we're just getting that confidence under our belt, you know, to be able to do that stuff. And, Hopefully, it just keeps on rolling from here on out. You'll see us again. You'll see us again next week when we face UCM on our own turf. Be here or be square. Somebody got